Hello and welcome to our unboxing of the new Motorola Moto G handset, the brand new super budget handset from Motorola that we'll be launching in the next few weeks. It's just been announced recently. Now let's take a quick look at the box on the Moto G. Everything about this is really minimalist. It's all white and green. Um, there's very little information on the back about the actual handset, just a bit of blurb about it um, or about the specifications so I'll cover those in depth in a minute without having to actually go through the the words on the box um, just a quick confirmation this is the 16 gigabyte Moto G there will be an 8 gigabyte version as well um, this model is in black as you'll see when I open it up um, and at launch black will be the only available color however there are some coloured backs to the device um, which will be able to be purchased separately. Now you might be thinking this looks like a pretty small box and there is a reason for that. If we open him up and pop the handset to one side quickly and we'll see the reason for that is our accessories are simply a micro USB data cable. No headphones, no charger, no case, um, just the data cable and some paperwork, a quick start guide and the rest, so totally minimalist there. Now you might be thinking, well, what am I gonna do without a charger? Well, the thinking behind this is basically, and if you've been buying any technology in the last few years, you're gonna have a micro USB charger, a compatible charger for that data cable already from some other piece of technology. So Motorola can cut their costs, they don't have to manufacture chargers, um, so they don't include one in the box. If you desperately need one, then they're quite a cheap accessory to buy separately. Um, for some, that might be a bit of an annoyance. Uh, for others, it's a perfectly acceptable decision, I think. Now onto the device itself. Here we have the Motorola Moto G, 16 gigabyte. This is the matte black cover. Very light Motorola embossing here, as you can see. Let's get the light on that. Otherwise, no other real branding, even when you take off this plastic cover here, which wants to be annoying. There we go. So. No Motorola branding on the front. Very, very simple design curved in the hand. Now to get an idea of size, um, this is the Nexus 5 here on the right. And here is a Galaxy S4 uh, dummy model on the left. Now if I just pop the screen on, you see the usable screen appear. All right, there we are. Screen size, it's a 4.5 inch screen here on the Motorola Moto G. Uh, and we're at 720p resolution, so it actually doesn't look that much smaller than a Galaxy S4 or a Nexus 5, two as you have here on the right. It's also a really bright screen as well. Uh, Size-wise, it's going to be a bit thicker. The weight is 143 grams on the Moto G, um, which is heavier than some other top-end devices. As you can see, thickness here. It's a bit thicker than an S4, and it's definitely thicker than the Nexus 5. Although remaining shorter and not quite as wide. Let's pop those over to the side. In comparison to, say, an S3 Mini, which is a little bit smaller than an S4 Mini, um, a bit bigger than that. So an S4 Mini, which I don't have a dummy of, would be about the same kind of size as this. And we've got a curve back. Um, feels very nice in the hand, feels pleasant. It's a really good one-handed size. For anyone that's been worried about the increase in sizes of devices in the last few years, getting difficult to use with one hand, this plumps right in the middle. Really good size, that. Uh, white buttons, power button here on the right, and the volume rocker, that's all you'll get for physical buttons. Everything else, you've got the capacitive buttons down here as part of the Android UI back home and the multitasking button. Here's our front facing camera, earpiece, 3.5mm audio jack. On the back we've got the 5 megapixel camera, the flash and the main speaker and the micro USB port here on the bottom. And to get to the SIM card tray, we do have to pop the back off. So it's a removable cover. I did mention that earlier. As you can get different colors to be purchased at a later date. First time you take this off, um, there's a little groove in here 
and it runs all the way around. Um, it might be a little tight the first time, you might want to use, use the nails to get in there. And the best way to do it is to get the palm of your hand on the back and just pull. You won't damage it, it's quite a sturdy back cover, even if it feels like it's bending slightly. That's nice and rigid, so that's not going to cause any damage when you take that off. It's a sealed battery. Battery not user removable, as you can see here. So any battery issues, that's a warranty job. You can't just pop out a new battery. Uh, here is our SIM card tray on the right, micro SIM. No expandable storage on the Moto G, so you are stuck with the 16 or 8 gigabytes that you get from the outset and here in the back cover uh, no mod cons so you know there's no like gold contacts here for wireless charging or for nfc capabilities this is a simple plastic cover with grills for the speaker and the camera and the flash as i said this is will be available in other colors there's a range of colors that have been uh, advertised by motorola when they become available we will see and the best way to put this on is to go from the bottom and click all the way up to the top. Now we take a little run through the actual device itself. So this is the home screen. I've already set one up. So the home screen, if you've seen any pictures of Android 4.4 around the web and the Nexus 5, you will have seen the new experience launcher from Google. Now this Moto G here isn't running 4.4 KitKat. It is running 4.3 Jelly Bean. Um, even though it's running the new experience launcher and the easiest way to see that it's running Jelly Bean is the fact that we still have the separate messaging app here. See, standard messaging app, that's been dropped from 4.4 in favor of using integrated Hangouts. You can still see Hangouts here as a separate application. So we are still running 4.3. Motorola have confirmed that there will be a 4.4 KitKat update for the Moto G. Um, we may even see that before the end of the year. So if you're planning on buying one of these just in time for Christmas when they're available throughout December, you should have a 4.4 KitKat update on your device before the turn of the new year, as long as Motorola roll that out quickly. They're beavering away on it as we speak. Um, and that is part of the new rollout of Android called uh, Project Svelte, I do believe, to minimize Android and make sure it works on devices with a lower specification um, down to 512 megs of RAM. Moto G actually has a gigabyte of RAM. And those other hardware specifications which weren't mentioned on the box, we have a 1.2 gigahertz quad-core processor. Um, that's the new Snapdragon 400 processor and that makes this without a doubt the cheapest quad-core handset on the market. Um, and to just show briefly how powerful this device is considering the price um, I installed some games courtesy of the uh, humble bundle and I don't have a connection here that's annoying uh, I've got it installed here Bard's Tale uh, the Bard's Tale is a 3d role-playing game and once we go through the splash screens here and load up my game you'll see that this is able to run a 3D rendered game with absolutely no slowdown. Here's my character on the screen running about, swinging his sword. And that's just something that wouldn't have even been feasible on a handset at this price point a year ago. It's, it's quite incredible to be able to play that on a device of less than 150 pounds, it, it really is. So that's just one quick example of, of the power of the Moto G for this price point. Now we can go and take a look at the language options. So let's go into the settings. Plenty of people will be looking for these. So language options here. Language and input. language at the top so this is our system language that's all of our system languages 
and to look at the default keyboard we will be using the default Android keyboard which is now available as a separate download on Google Play input languages there at the top so at the moment I'm on use system language you can actually change that and you can use a different language and these are the available keyboard languages from the outset expect a large number of these who have really gone for a globalization when it comes to languages and support with stock Android even there look option for no language just plain QWERTY without any dictionary and those are the incorporated input languages so that's that that's a brief overview of the Moto G there so we've done a comparison there on the size as I said it's not the smallest device you'll see however considering the power and the price point it really is a solid a solid feel in the hand um, if it was any lighter or any smaller I don't think it would come across as the quality of device it really is um, in terms in terms of the build there um, we've had a quick look at the input languages and yeah very very brief showing to you of its power being able to run that that 3d bard's tail game um, that there it is there's the moto g thanks for watching